With its pristine sandy beaches and dramatic mountain views, Cape Town has long been one of the world's holiday hotspots. But it's becoming even hotter as South Africa's rand hits a five-year low against the dollar. What's bad news for importers and local consumers is welcomed by the foreign tourists flocking to the city. Before it was 10 rand, you got 10 rand for one euro, and now you got 14 rand for one euro, and that's perfect. Okay, now we can spend much more money on our holidays here. <laughs> The number of foreign arrivals in Cape Town rose by over 14% between 2012 and 2013. Tourists spent over $1 billion in the city last year and are likely to spend even more this year as they make the most of the cheaper rand. For better or for worse, the wheat rand just allowed me to have a giant wrap, a beautiful crepe and two samosas for a lesson I've been paying for lunch uh, for the last few months. So wheat rand has definitely helped me eat more on this holiday. <laughs> Like other emerging markets, the RAND has been hit by moves in the United States to cut back on its stimulus spending. It also comes on the back of a series of violent labor strikes at home. With large deficits and spending needs to juggle, analysts say the outlook is unlikely to change soon. The depreciating trend is, is strong, um, the momentum is strong. We wouldn't be surprised to see it depreciate some more, but on a sort of medium-term horizon, I would expect some stability and possibly even, you know, a small rally. For those who benefit from the dip, it means more profits and the chance to gain more share of global markets. But even exporters like the Cape region's wine farms are keeping an eye on the long-term challenges that lie ahead. The effect of the weak rand now benefits us in the short term of, in, in terms of income. But in the long, long term, it's going to nail us in terms of input cost. The rand lost 20% of its value against the dollar last year alone, causing fears that it could fuel inflation. But prices haven't gone up yet, giving tourists more bang for their foreign buck.